Sup, bitches? I'm Mr. Dapperton, and this right here is my friend Sinatra. What's up, Mr. Dapperton? Hello, everybody. I am Sinatra. This guy loves the cock. But my tubby husband here, he's 100% queer. He loves the cock. If you like either one of us, remember the links to our channel are in the description box. So subscribe, bitch. When Trump tweets uh, about Chicago and he says that there were 228 shootings in 2017 and 42 killings, up 24 percent from 2016, that is true. But I don't think he is addressing the real problem, which is we need to reduce gun violence. And so if he were... If, if he ah, shut the fuck up, you numbskulls. None of you even know how many die a day by guns. Sinatra, may I go on an epic rant? It is your right as an American. As it says in the First Amendment, you have the freedom of speech, which gives you the right to go on as many epic rants as you like. Now, if only people cared about rights as much as we do. Now, I will provide evidence for everything I'm about to say. The links will be in the description box. There's 500 million guns in the United States, way more guns than people, and there is less than 30 gun homicides a day in America. Oh, by the way, that 30 includes self-defense, fucker. Yeah, that's right. In America, homicides include self-defense killings. So realistically, there's only like 10 gun murders a day in America. Considering that there's 320 million motherfuckers in the United States, I would say that's pretty fucking low. I mean, considering the fact there's 320 million people in the United States, you would think there would be at least 1,000 cases a day where somebody kills somebody in the act of self-defense. But no, no. In America, we have less than 30 self-defense killings. Hell, murder is included in that. If you want lower, that really means that you want to get rid of murder completely out of society, and that will never happen. The only thing you can do to stop murder is being ready to defend your life. Laws won't do jack shit for you. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, uh, police protect me. Police providing safety is only an illusion, as it takes 15 minutes for police to show up. It takes less than 30 seconds to kill somebody. So all police really do is outline your body in chalk. That's not very fucking helpful. Being ready and armed and being ready to defend your own life, that's the only way to stop murder. Having some stupid fucking politician getting paid a fuck ton of money to sign some fancy piece of paper ain't gonna do shit. Criminals don't obey laws. Did you forget that murder is illegal? And we're still here talking about murder right now, so obviously laws don't do shit. Drugs are illegal, and you can find drugs on every corner in the United States of America. Again, laws don't do shit. You think more laws and more background checks are going to make a difference. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. The only way background checks will work is if criminals start obeying the law and start buying guns legally at a store instead of illegally on the black market. And once they're denied, these left-wingers think they'll just be like, Oh, I guess I can't murder people. No, you fucking idiot. They'll just buy them illegally off the black market. I mean, these people really want to create more laws in the hopes that criminals will follow those laws. Newsflash. Criminals don't follow laws. That's kind of why they're criminals. Now let's take a second here and talk about the dumbest law of all time. Gun-free zones. Where you literally disarm every single person that could actually stop a terrorist attack in the hopes that the terrorist will see the sign that says no guns allowed and be like, oh, I was just about to commit mass freaking murder, but disobeying this gun-free zone sign is where I draw the line. And they actually believe he'll just turn around and go home. Yes, they literally disarm every single person in the United States of America that can prevent these crimes in the hopes that the criminal will just obey the law. I'm just going to say it. It's retarded. It's the most retarded thing I have ever heard in my entire life. So remember that there's less than 30 gun murders a day in America. Hell, that even includes self-defense, so it's really like 10 gun murders a day in America. Guess how many die by smoking every day in America? 1,300. If liberals really cared about any pointless killings, they would go after cigarettes, not guns. This proves right here, this has nothing to do with saving lives. This has to do with controlling your neighbor, and that's it. It's the elimination of freedoms, just because. 
It's funny to me. They don't go after the thing that kills thousands of people a day. No, no, no. They go after the thing that saves lives. No one talks about limits on hammers or knives or doctors or hospitals. No one does that because the good we perceive from hammers and knives and doctors far outweigh their perceived harm. And yet, studies show that firearms prevent anywhere from 800,000 to over 2 million violent crimes every year. The lowest estimate means that 100 times more violent crimes were prevented with firearms than the total murders committed with firearms. That's 100 times. <sighs> okay, I'm off my soapbox. Okay, well then, excuse me while I get on mine real quick. What I find funny is that the same left who tells us that the issue with everybody is guns. Every gun death is because of a gun. It's not the motive. It's not anything else but the gun. That same left is the left that tells us that we need to have more regulations on guns because they're dangerous, awful, evil things because they killed somebody. But when immigrants of a certain ilk or migrants, I guess you could say, of a certain ilk are shown to be more violent and cause more harm to other areas, they completely ignore any sort of regulation on that. It gun does something bad take all the motherfucking guns away an immigrant does something bad or a migrant does something bad it has nothing to do with the fact that he's a migrant so gun does something bad equals gun control migrant or immigrant does something bad equals we need more immigrants can somebody explain that to me in the comments please let's watch the video if we're talking about that kind of policy i think that would be very important and representative gutierrez um, issued this statement. He said, when the president wants to work with states and localities on public policies to reduce gun violence, he will find partners in cities like Chicago, but I think he'd rather spend his time on Twitter. Well, you see, the issue with that is when Trump called out Chicago for what it was, basically a shithole, he said he wanted to bring federal aid in. Everybody called him racist for saying that Chicago needed help. So maybe don't Talk shit to the guy next time he tries to help you out and go, well, he'd rather be on Twitter than helping us out. You sound like a jackass. And, 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 and that's really it in a nutshell. I mean, we need to start talking about, uh, instead of carnage, re real policies that reduce gun violence. Well, then get rid of fucking gun-free zone signs. We live in a culture of safe spaces, and a gun-free zone is a safe space where someone who means to do harm can go knowing that nobody has a gun. I believe the more guns you have, the less violence you'll have. That's what they believe. And oh, you mean the people who actually examine the evidence and do research? Fuck them, right? They should be more like you, right? And say, fuck the facts. That's and this that former federal, federal yeah, prosecutor will tell you it's you're not You're arming true. people who are law-abiding citizens, and you're, those people who have guns that are criminals are going to get them anyway, and you want people who are law-abiding citizens to be able to counter criminals. Chicago has the strictest gun control laws, some of the strictest gun control laws in the country, and they have a ton of gun violence. Fucking... Thank you so much. Damn, bitch just dropped the mic. Do you agree with that? I'm a pro Second Amendment girl. If you are a law abiding citizen and you make it through your background checks, I want you to be able to well, go. That's the Wood bang, wood bang. What about you, Sinatra? Oh, uh, no thanks, man. I like girls. Oh, you mean her? Wood Mary. Wood Mary. Wood Mary. Hey, you just, said the, you just said the key. You just checks. said the key. I support you know, background you, checks. I do. You know, it's a great book that. Uh, that I've been listening to. Uh, the liberal. With the liberal. Redneck. Redneck liberal. Redneck. And the, the guy is brilliant. I mean, if you don't it's know really this, it's brilliant. Let's get him on the and show. Yes, we're, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been working on that. Okay. Um, That's good. Say what? Next month. Next month. Oh, good. So, the, you know, him talking about, because he's a guy from the South, okay? Yeah. And, he is, and he said, listen, there's a lot of us down here, but don't misunderstand me. They hunt, they shoot, they have a good time. Yeah. But he said, we don't have any issues with background checks. Right. He said, if we're trying to do background checks on people who may be <laughs> mentally challenged or there should be, they have all kind of criminal background, if you're complaining about it, he said, then I'm going to assume that you, you're mentally challenged or you got a criminal background. Yeah. You have no reason not to accept a, a, a background check. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, I had a con I had Again, you can make it so there's five background checks to get a gun. Criminals won't be taking any of those tests because they get their guns illegally off the streets. All you're doing is making it 
it harder for good guys to get guns. And making it harder for people that are handicapped and mentally ill to get a gun is unfair. Because people that are mentally ill are statistically four times more likely to be the victim of assault than to be the person committing assault. If anybody needs to be armed in society, it is them. That's a good point. I don't think any criminal is going to sit for three days go, well, I guess I'm going to have to wait to get my Skrilla because I have to wait to get my heater. No. They just go to their friend and go, hey, man, I need a gun. And they're like, okay, throw it in the river when you're done. Criminals don't follow laws. That's why they're called criminals. I had a conversation with someone in Texas about mm -hmm. that and asked him about that. And because he supports, he's a Second Amendment guy, he supports background checks. And he said that a lot of the people who oppose it feel that it's a slippery slope. Their argument is that it's going to go from background checks to limiting the types of guns you can have to limiting the ammo you can have to suddenly well, your Second Amendment rights. Right. Right. Let me just cut into the crow's nest arguing here. That's exactly what happened in New York. They said, you can't have more than seven bullets in a magazine. Therefore, the... 10 round magazines were outlawed and they only come in 5, 10, and 15. So what they really were saying is you could only have 5 rounds in your magazine. It is absolutely a slippery slope because people play slippery slope games. Fear. On the other side of this is one of Donald's sons, Hans or Fritz, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I think it's Junior. Wow, Kathy Griffin has not aged gracefully. Junior. Junior believes that not only should everybody have a gun, but they should all have a silencer on their guns. Now, if you're at the airport and you're on level two and there's a gun fight on level one, you should be able to hear that. Okay, first off, silencers don't even exist. Suppressors are what you're thinking of. And guess what? This is what they sound like. Here's what an M16 sounds like, suppressed and not suppressed. Let's take a look at not suppressed first. Now let's hear it with a suppressor on. <laughs> Do you know what I heard right there? A lot of fucking gunshots. So when you say, oh, I'd like to be able to hear if someone was shooting guns, you'd fucking hear it. It doesn't make them silent. This isn't a fucking movie. It's not like... You fucking hear a gunshot. So you're literally going off on this topic on your nationally syndicated TV show and you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. So that you can get the hell out of there. So on top of all this, they want to put a silencer on the on. Now, that is when you shoot someone to kill somebody yeah. and you don't want anybody to hear you. What is going Thank on? You for yes, that is the stealthy killer in public where you can use it and nobody hears it. Nobody hears it ever except... Everybody fucking hears it. This is literally why nobody respects the mainstream media anymore. Blaming the silencer. Where is this country going? <laughs> yeah. Okay, silencers are not just exclusively for fucking hitmen, you bitch. People want them easier to obtain because every single gun on this planet pretty much makes you deaf. All right, nigga, that was pretty fun. I'll collab with you again someday. Remember, boys, girls, and those who sexually identify as Walmart toasters, to go to the link in description box and subscribe to us, motherfucker. Sinatra, do you got any closing statements? Yes, this was a very fun collab. I would like to say that we all know the media has just been fucking up constantly lately, but now they're just not even showing any effort to put into their fucking talks. They just blatantly prove that they know nothing of what they're talking about and that people who disagree with them are wrong. That's all that's happening anymore. But yes, let's get Mr. Dapperton to 100k subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. Later, bitch!